Hi friends, it's Sam, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different, a little bit off the usual path. No recipes today at all. Instead, I'm going to do a kitchen tour and show you what's in my fridge and pantry. Now, I asked you guys what you wanted to see other than a recipe type video, and this is something that was requested over and over and over again, and so here it is! My kitchen tour and pantry and fridge. No food is being had today. I mean, we're gonna look at a lot of food, but we're not gonna eat it. Or me, please, I'm not gonna eat it in front of you on camera. So from the very first day that I actually posted a YouTube video, I got asked if my kitchen was a set or if it was actually my kitchen. So this kitchen is not a set. This is my real kitchen. And the thing is, you've seen pretty much all of it already. It's right here, behind me. Here it is. There really isn't that much this way. I'll show you this way, but there's not that much. I don't think you're gonna get that excited. Now I put all of my love, all of my money, all of my heart into my kitchen. Because in my opinion, the kitchen is the heart of the home. It's where I entertain, it's where I cook, it's my full-time business. I work from my kitchen every single day, and so I knew it was really important to me. Okay, now without further ado, let's begin the kitchen tour. Yeah! Now when I got this place, I was able to renovate it, and so I designed this kitchen myself, and I love it. Oh hey! kitchen. I told you it's not very exciting. Yep, my kitchen is pretty one-sided. Now the main reason why my kitchen is so one-sided, why all the goods are over here and there's not really much over there, is that I grew up sitting at the kitchen counter watching my parents cook and that's how I learned how to cook. That's how I fell in love with cooking. And so when I designed this kitchen, I really wanted to have the same feel. I love inviting friends over and having them sit at the counter and I'll cook them food and we'll talk about food. I'll serve them food right here at the counter. This is my counter, but it's also my dining room table. I don't have anywhere else to eat food. This is where it lives. Let's take a look around. Let's look at what's in my pantry and fridge. Woo! Here is my fridge. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. <laughs> this fridge is by Big Chill. Not sponsored at all, by the way. I wish it was, but it's not. And it is in the color Jadeite Green. So much. I have a 16 year old car, but I have a new shiny fridge and stove. And they're my babies. They're so much more important to me. Don't tell Fred. That's my car's name. So let's take a look inside. Okay, freezer first since it's on top. Ooh, nice. It's a freezer full of frozen food. That's what it is. Kind of a mess, but what can you do? So in here, let's see. Um, I have cornbread, which is my cornbread recipe, some frozen for later for some deliciousness, some vegan naan, coffee, a couple of veggie dogs, edamame puff pastry, some shelled edamame, I love those as a snack. Corn, I think that's more edamame. Apparently I'm going through an edamame phase, who knew? And some other frozen breads. Um, that's what's there. In the door here, I have mixed frozen berries, which I use for smoothies. This is not dog food, that's flax. Some frozen turmeric, which I also use for smoothies, and kale, which I also use for smoothies. Some chia seeds, some hot peppers, and tofu up here. So that's what's in my freezer. Freezery kind of things, right? Come down here with me now. Well, hello there. <laughs> Just hanging out by the fridge. Never hung out by my fridge for so long before. <laughs> What just fell? Hello, is everything okay? This is what this vegan's fridge looks like. I know everyone else is gonna have a different fridge. Stay open. Why won't you stay open? Okay, it's good now. So let's see, in here I have jelly uh, vegan Caesar salad dressing, and this is actually my new recipe that I just posted on the blog. It is my vegan blue cheese dressing, and this is actually oil-free and pretty healthy for you, so this is a great salad dressing if you're looking to slim down, but you like that tangy kind of blue cheese taste. Yum. I have a salsa, which is delicious, tomato sauce, some hummus, an avocado. Good tip if you don't know this. If your avocado is ripe but you're not quite ready to use it, say you want to use it in a day or two, pop it in the fridge and it should stay ripe for a couple more days. So that helps with the limited avocado window. Uh, berries, always love snacking on fruit, cilantro. I've got uh, extra rich coconut milk in the back of the fridge there because that's what I use to make vegan whipped cream. Some random beers that people left here. 
this is my tofu drawer. So instead of a cheese drawer, I have a tofu drawer. I uh, know. Um, I've just got tofu in there for making recipes, and I love though this smoked tofu. If you are looking for like a sandwich meat kind of feel, this stuff is where it's at. I also love cubing it, frying it, throwing it on top of a salad, layering it into a sandwich. This smoked tofu has so much flavor. Delicious. Ooh, hello fridge. You just turned on. I've got a jelly jerk seasoning. This is mushrooms, tomatoes, cauliflower, kale, cucumber, broccoli, peppers, carrots, some eggplant that I should probably use tonight. This is my potato drawer. And in here I've got onions, ginger, and garlic. Hmm. Let's look at the fridge door now. I'm just chilling, just chilling in my fridge. On the fridge door here for my vegan butters, I have both Earth Balance and Vegan Base Cell. Um, I love using Earth Balance to cook with, but I use the Vegan Base Cell for popcorn. I just love it on popcorn. It's so delicious, best flavor ever. Over here I have capers, pickles, hot sauce, Tahini, pickled onions, weird, I know, sriracha, white miso paste, barbecue sauce, ketchup, vegan mayonnaise, hot peppers, mustard, soy milk, and oh my goodness, I love this stuff. My fridge is eating me! <laughs> this silk almond for coffee, it's like overly sweet, and at first I hated it, but now I'm completely addicted. I think this alone has turned me into a sugar addict. And I love it, and I'm not giving it up. It makes me really happy. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much what's in my fridge right now. So let's go check out what's in my cupboards. Now over in this little corner of my kitchen, I have this tiny little squish in cupboard. And in the top, I have oils and vinegar, that kind of thing, some agave. In here, I have my collection of teas. I love drinking a lot of tea, so I've got a lot. This is my favorite, by the way, chocolate mint, the stash tea. If you like mint chocolate, having mint chocolate tea, heavenly. It's the best. I love it. It makes me so happy. So that's my tea drawer. In here, this is my canned things drawer. So I've got all kinds of beans, green jackfruit, tomato paste, coconut milk. I always have a lot of chickpeas on hand because they're my favorite, whether I do roasted chickpeas or like my creamy lemon chickpeas or I just toss them on top of a salad or a chickpea salad sandwich. So many options. Chickpeas are life. Love them. In the next drawer, I have extra soy milk, natural peanut butter, vegetable broth, and vegetable broth powder. This chipotle salsa, which I am obsessed with currently, extra tomato sauce, and these packets of like weird peanut butter. I don't know, they were sent to me. I get things in the mail like that all the time and I haven't really used any of them yet. And in this last drawer, I have an enormous bag of rice that I don't know how I'm gonna get through. <laughs> I have rice paper sheets, which are amazing for making vegan bacon. If you have my cookbook and you've tried that recipe, you'll know what I mean. Amazing, beyond amazing. So weird, so cool, love it. So I have some rice noodles, some dried mushrooms, uh, seaweed, those kind of things live in that drawer. Moving along! <laughs> so this is my dishwasher, which was given to me actually for free from my aunt and uncle who didn't want it anymore. I must say, I love it. It's a two drawer dishwasher, so you can wash the top or the bottom or both at the same time, whatever you want. For someone who cooks a lot and does a lot of dishes, this makes the turnaround super fast. It makes me super happy. I love this. So thank you, auntie and uncle. Why am I holding my hand like this, by the way? Hello. This is how I hold the hand. This super fancy, gorgeous espresso machine, which was given to me by Breville. Thank you so much, Breville. I use this machine multiple times a day. It's my favorite. I love it. Thank you so much. And this is just garbage and recycling and stuff. Cutlery and cooking tools and stuff. And by the way, this whole kitchen, all of this light-colored stuff, this is all just Ikea. Ikea's pretty good. I recommend their kitchens. And these shelves, which I love so much. My parents have a woodworking shop on their property, so these shelves were made, which is amazing. I got to customize the kind of shelves I wanted and do this incredibly long length. Hey, now we're at this angle of my kitchen. Like I said, you've seen most of the kitchen already, I think. <laughs> So these are my Pyrex bowls, which I collect there. I love 1950s kitchen stuff, which is why I have that fridge and the stove. They're new, but I love the look of them. 
So again, this is Big Chill in the color Jadeite Green. Nothing sponsored. Um, so this is my stove. I love it. It's gorgeous. And on this side, I have a cute little wine rack and store more cooking stuff over here and knives. And I have this massive spice drawer, which I love because I love spice. This is my blender and food processor corner. All of these were given to me sometimes just because the company was nice and sometimes for sponsored content. So this is my Breville blender. It's amazing and Breville food processor, which is my favorite. And then of course, the Epic Blendtec blender. I love both of these blenders, by the way, and would recommend either of them. So this cupboard, I keep my filming equipment, my camera and stuff lives in there. Um, in this cupboard, what do I have? So I've got some cereals, um, popcorn, my favorite thing ever. I love this brand of popcorn, Central Roast. They've got this like tri-colored popcorn, super yummy. This is a pasta drawer and dates randomly. Not all of my organization makes a lot of sense. This is um, also a pasta drawer and peanuts randomly because not a lot of my organization makes sense. Um, apparently I have a lot of pasta right now. In this bottom drawer I have some vegan protein powders and I also have extra spices, extra mayonnaise, extra things. I get sent a lot of food products, so I often have an abundance of things. This is kind of my abundance drawer that I don't really know where to put it because I already have one going. All right, so let's hop to the other side of my kitchen. Woo! So this is kind of my pantry shelf. I have all sorts of nuts and rices and grains and flowers and beans and all sorts of good stuff over there. And then at the bottom is actually my food photography dishes. So I got like my normal plates and then my food photography bowls in place. In this corner is my photography studio. <laughs> Certainly not very professional looking. It's just on the floor, but that's the way I like to do it. I started my vlog long before I had this amazing kitchen that I was able to design, but I shot all of my food photography on the floor there, and I think I just kind of got used to shooting on the floor. This shelf is super ugly, but I found it for free on the street, so it works. And this is actually a door that was originally in my kitchen before I renovated it, so I saved it. I painted it with chalkboard paint, and now I use it for notes. These are all the books that we read in book club, although I think we're missing a few books here. And these are just like tips that I give myself for YouTube filming. And then lastly, down here is Chickpea's food area. I got this 1950s garbage can, which I love, that I put her food in. So fun, right? So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this little kitchen tour, this little look into my kitchen, my pantry, my fridge, all that good stuff. I hope you like this video, and if you do, let me know by leaving a like, and don't forget to subscribe for a brand shiny new amazing vegan video. Maybe not amazing, I don't know, it depends on your opinion, every single Wednesday. Leave a comment down below letting me know what some of your favorite fridge and pantry staples are, and I'll see you next week. Bon appetit! <laughs> oh, now it's a disco party. Just chilling in my fridge in the disco party. <laughs>